Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Wednesday, August 14th, 2013. There has been a plane crash in the United States this morning. A United Parcel Service UPS Airbus 300 crashed at about 6 a.m. this morning as it was coming into the Birmingham International Airport in Birmingham, Alabama. The flight was UPS Flight 1354. It was en route to Birmingham from Louisville, Kentucky. It apparently went down about five miles uh, northeast of Birmingham, just outside the perimeter of the airport. Uh, the airport's operations are not affected according to the FAA, which is a bit hard to believe as there's a, a huge pile of smoke and flame outside the airport perimeter. No word yet on any uh, fatalities on board, but from the looks of things on the television, it does not seem likely that there are any survivors. This is a cargo plane, an Airbus 300. In Cairo, meanwhile, there may be as many as 95 dead today. This is being reported by Al Jazeera as the military has cracked down in two protest camps set up by supporters of ousted Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi. The military now claims that they have total control over the two respective squares. Live footage from Cairo this morning showed the military moving in, firing tear gas and bird shots on supporters of the deposed president. Typhoon Utor, which uh, had uh, ransacked the uh, Philippines the day before yesterday, has now hit Hong Kong, closed down the uh, Hong Kong stock market, the Hong Kong airport, shut down schools, courts, and offices. Some uh, 110 flights at the Hong Kong uh, KTEC airport have been canceled. Uh, the uh, typhoon warning level number eight was raised by the uh, Hong Kong Weather Service. This is the third highest alert level. Some more details are coming out as to who is on the hook for that big jewel heist in Nice uh, about two weeks ago. It seems that Arch's Lloyd's operation and Chaucer lead the insurance policy. Uh, the reserve for the diamond loss is currently set at about $73 million. Other reinsurers include uh, Munich Re and WR Berkeley's Lloyd Syndicate. Arthur J. Gallagher has, uh, is the broker listed on the deal. The insurers have put up a 1 million euro reward for information that leads to the return of the jewels. And here's interesting news. The uh, European Union Statistics Office, Eurostat, says that official figures confirm that the recession in the Eurozone came to an end in the second quarter of this year. The Eurozone uh, comprises 17 European Union countries. They saw their collective output grow by three-tenths of one percent in the period April to June. Uh, this was moderately better than the two-tenths of 1% that had been expected. There were also signs of stabilization in Portugal and in Greece. So that's very good news. Here's not so good news. Guy Carpenter is saying that convergence capital is depressing reinsurance rates. This is in the face of higher than average catastrophe losses during the first six months of 2013. They say that uh, cat losses reached $20 billion during the first six months of this year, but quote, robust catastrophe bond, sidecar, and collateralized reinsurance activity, end quote, has pushed capital market pricing to quote, decouple from levels set by reinsurance traditional markets. They say that about $45 billion or 14% of the total capital in the market is now composed of so-called convergence capital. They also say they expect that rates will continue trending downward through the rest of the year and into the January 1st renewals. That's not good news. Here's an interesting story. Billionaire hedge fund manager Daniel Loeb's Third Point Re, which filed for an IPO, has no staff in the United States, but it was still able to take advantage uh, of its status as, quote, an emerging growth company under a federal law that was passed last year to jumpstart business. The uh, name of the law, believe it or not, is called Jumpstart Our Business Startups. The acronym is named JOBS. One of the uh, main points of the law is that it can limit the amount of financial disclosure after an IPO uh, because of rules promoting job creation included in the law. When President Obama signed the law, he said it would make it easier for companies to raise money leading to employment growth. Uh, companies with less than a billion dollars in annual revenue can qualify. It will allow reduced disclosure about executive pay and waive requirements for auditors to attest to the company's financial controls. 
Um, of course, the uh, predictable uh, chorus here from people saying that the law was about small companies and startups, not wealthy uh, hedge fund managers. Uh, but nevertheless, there is no insinuation that Third Point has broken the law. An attempt to contact Rob Bradle, the CFO of the company, uh, did not result in any return call, apparently. Third Point re plans to raise about $322 million in its IPO. And the insurer does not plan to use all the special treatment available uh, under the JOBS Act. It opted out of the ability, for example, to be exempt from future provisions, future revisions, I should say, of public company accounting standards. Um, it's very interesting. 16 of Third Point Re 17 employers are based in Bermuda, and the other one is based in the UK. Well, this is a, a case of smart people taking advantage of laws. So there's nothing wrong with that. If the Congress wants to close a quote-unquote loophole, they should do it themselves. We reported uh, last week that the Indian Navy is uh, working on sea trials for its first ever domestically produced aircraft carrier. We also reported that they have for the first time produced a uh, nuclear reactor unit to act as a propulsion unit for a submarine. Well, yesterday afternoon in a uh, spectacular explosion, a fireball at a dock in Mumbai, an Indian uh, submarine apparently exploded, killing at least two people on board. It was the same sub that uh, apparently had a uh, fire in 2010 in the battery compartment. Um, the initial thoughts are that this, in fact, was also confined to the battery compartment as well. That is the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.